Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarkers Super Quick Read Aloud Show. This episode we are covering Dave Barry's The Worst Class Trip Ever. Hopefully by the end of this quick video you will know if this book is a good match for you. Common Sense Media says this book is good for nine-year-olds and higher, and they rate it as a four out of five stars. Their quick description says, Rye humor, international drama, makes for a fun page-turner. So page-turner tells me that the plot's going to move quick, but I'm not quite sure what rye humor means. So let's pop over to my favorite dictionary, Longman's Dictionary of Contemporary English, and it says that rye means the situation is bad, but you also think it's funny. All right, that's pretty exciting. Now let's check out what Amazon has to say. So, ooh, four and a half out of five stars. Even better here. And they say it's good for ages nine through 12. Last stop, and this one's for teachers and librarians. Here's some common core stuff that you could use this read aloud to access. And here's a passage preview. We are starting off right with chapter one. None of this stuff would have happened if I hadn't been sitting next to Matthew Diaz. Don't get me wrong. Matt is my best friend, but he can be an idiot. But when we were in kindergarten, pretty much all of the boys were idiots, so he didn't stand out so much, and we became best friends. So now, even though we're in 8th grade, he's sometimes unbelievably annoying, and I'm kinda stuck with him. That's why I ended up sitting next to him on the plane of the, on the class trip. I think about that sometimes. If I'd been sitting anywhere else, I would have had a normal class trip, and none of this insane mess would have happened. On the other hand, when I think about what could have happened if I hadn't been sitting next to Matt on that flight... Okay, I guess this is starting to sound pretty mysterious. Let me start at the beginning. My name is Wyatt Palmer. I am an eighth grader at Culver Middle School in Miami. I know a lot of people think Miami is a weird place, but it's my home, so I'm used to the kinds of things that happen there and that don't happen in normal places. Like there was this incident that happened about six months ago when my dad went outside to get the Miami Herald off our lawn. My dad likes to read the sports section while he has his coffee so he can complain about how much the dolphins suck. So, first thing every morning, he goes outside and gets the paper off our lawn. For years, he did this wearing only his boxers. My mom hated this. She was always telling my dad to at least put on a bathrobe, because what if somebody saw him? My dad said, nobody's going to be out there at 6.30 a.m., and besides, wearing boxer shorts is the same thing as wearing a bathing suit. This is not really true, especially if you saw my dad's bedtime boxers, which have like zero elastic and a lot of holes and, according to my mom, are held together mainly by stains. A couple of times she threw them away, but my dad went and got them out of the trash. He's very loyal to his boxers. Alrighty, that's it for our passage preview. Let's take a look at the summary that would be on the back of the book. This is from Dave Barry's website. In this hilarious novel, written in the voice of 8th grader Wyatt Palmer, Dave Barry takes us on a class trip to Washington, D.C. Wyatt, his best friend Matt, and a few kids from Culver Middle School find themselves in a heap of trouble, not just with their teachers, who have long lost their patience with them, but from several mysterious men they first meet on their flight to the nation's capital. In a fast-paced adventure, with the monuments as a backdrop, the kids try to stay out of danger and out of the doghouse, while trying to save the president from attack? Or maybe not. The Worst Class Trip Ever is a humor and adventure book. It's about 224 pages long, and the audiobook is four hours. All right, let's wrap this up. Moment of truth, is this book for you? You want to ask yourself, are you interested in the plot and characters, and do you want to know more? If you answered yes, keep going. Can you read this comfortably by yourself? You just looked at the pages on screen. Do you think you can read that comfortably by yourself? If you answered yes to both of those, well, maybe you want to pick up The Worst Class Trip Ever. And a little bit of curiosity fuel for you. There's a quote in the passage that I read. And none of this insane mess would have happened. What do you think the insane mess could be? And finally, this is obviously a funny, humorous book. What was the funniest line that you have read so far? All right, hopefully by now you know if this book is for you or not. And if not, keep hunting. Find a book that you find interesting. If you enjoyed this super quick book preview, go ahead and hit like and subscribe or whatever other stuff YouTube throws down there. And feel free to click around some of the other content that we have on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube page. See you later.